Hello, welcome to Ghana Weekend TV. My name is Kwame Dazi. We're back again. And a few days ago, we were here to talk about the top 15 events uh, that you should look out for this festive season. Now, um, Stoneboy just came through with a beam concert and it was mega. It was super. Yes. Um, I know most of you were not able to go there, but we were there. We saw everything live and colored, and we want to give you a rundown of what's happened at the Beam Concert 2021. It was fantastic, you know. Just imagine you being at a, a show that has almost every top star performing. And it started uh, with Akiana. You know that guy from Xylophone Music? Akiana is, is one of the fastest rising female musicians, and she was at the program she performed. Akiana was the open act at Beam Concert 2021. And you know, trust Akiana to kill it. Female dancehall musician. And uh, I think that all those who think that dancehall is the preserve of the guys and it's only about Samini, only about Stoneboy, Shatawali episode and the rest, shall we? look out for Akiana. Her performance was super. It was fantastic. And then there was the family, uh, our own family, Tik Midu. He was also at the show. He performed after Akiana. And you know, anytime Famiya is on stage, he has a lot of hits. Famiya has been in the industry for quite some time now. But since he actually shot a fame, it's not been even five years. But he has a lot of songs. And so anytime he mounts the stage, trust him to deliver to give you hits after hits back to back and that was what happened when he mounted the stage at the beam concert at the Accra international conference center the grand arena during this year's event now uh, there is one other performance that i think you should see this performance from xylophone signee obibini remember the guy who picked the beef with amrado yes obibini Bwafo was there as well and I, I could see that Obibini gradually is warming uh, himself into the hearts of a lot of music fans because, you know, uh, prior to the beef with Amrado, a lot of people didn't actually know him. They could not vibe with him. But uh, watching him perform at the Beam concert, I could realize that the beef did some magic for him. Even though some people think that Obibini should have gone harder uh, with his music releases when he had that beef with Amrado. He should have gone hit harder released more commercial music but yeah the response wasn't bad at all so that was obibini obibini the with that performance yes uh, after obibini was the man with energy i call him the man with energy episode he was also on stage at the beam concert episode was fantastic he was super anytime episode is on stage it it's as if he wants to break the stage, you know. And so he also um, thrilled the, uh, the audience with his performance at the Beam concert, something that a lot of people were looking forward to, and it happened on the night. Now let's talk about something that I saw during the Beam concert this year. And I saw this guy called Mr. Logic. You know him, very controversial guy. He's been in the industry for some time now. He's a songwriter, artist manager. He has managed uh, Wale before. He's managed some artists as well, Sugar Lord and all those guys. And he was on stage with Ras uh, Kinlagazi of Hits FM, a radio presenter. And they were doing some freestyles like, wow, so Charlie, it'd be like, you know, be saying they, they do pump pump again. But um, I, I felt like Mr. Logic wanted to, to prove some people wrong that Charlie, you know, be say anytime I go day radio or TV top, you know, I just do your book, I go fit do one too. He was trying to impress people, but I think it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. And they introduced the dance hall cipher. And these were uh, a group of 12 young musicians that came on, on stage to perform to spit some dance hall vibe and bars. And it was a sight to behold on the night of uh, the Beam concert. And so the cypher was on and uh, Mr. Logic, Ken Lagazi were the people who introduced the cypher. Then, trust me, there was this performance that 
was also top-notch. I mean, Kwamina MP came through as well to support Stoneboy at the BIM concert. And so the amount for girls hits maker didn't disappoint at all when he mounted the stage to delight the patrons uh, with his music. And that was very refreshing. Now, the twins, Dope Nation, Dope Nation, they were there as well to support Stoneboy. Yes, anytime they are on stage, you know that Dope Nation have danceable tunes. They will give you the zankus and everything that you need from them as well. So, they were also present. Yeah, the, the list is very tall. And you know, as you watch the videos, you, you actually... Uh, bear us out that yes, this year's uh, BIM concert by Stoneboy was a very good one because all the artists putting their role are the program. Now, after Dope Nation's performance, a Koso hits maker, um, Kofi, Kofi Jama, yes, Kofi Jama was also live on set and he did his own thing. Then came the fancy rap god, you can call him Kofi Kenata. King Atta was also on stage with his live band performance, a high life artist, and he is revered, he's loved for his, uh, the depth of his, his music, you know, the message. People think that, yes, Kofi Kenata speaks sense or sings about sensible stuff. Almost every time he spits anything in his music, it's all about, uh, teaching you something, advising you, motivating you, uh, all about the moral aspect of our life. So, Kofi Kanata was also on stage at the concert, not forgetting uh, the BAM music boss himself, D Black, and his artist, um, Sefa. Yes, Sefa was also on stage and uh, they performed Yes, he choked, they performed other hit songs in the repertoire on the night at the BIM concert. So you know, the BIM concert was a really, really uh, successful event. And I, I think that I'm looking forward to seeing bigger ones ahead in the coming years. And it happened at the Grand International Conference Center, the Grand Arena. Make sure you subscribe to Ghana Weekend TV and also read our stories on ghanaweekend.com. But... One thing that happened on the night was Empress Gifty, gospel musician. And people were asking, a gospel musician, yeah, beam concert, F our home bang. <laughs> you know, gospel musician, um, Empress Gifty was at the program, you know. And what even gave me that kind of uh, hint that she was going to perform was when she went to the airport to meet Beanie Man, uh, who arrived to be part of the show. And when I saw her at the airport, yeah, it occurred to me, yes, maybe she should be on stage to perform. And she was on stage performing her gospel songs. And according to Empress Gifty, uh, who spoke to Ghana Weekend Reporters, she says that this was part of evangelism. She was there to evangelize. And so, um, those of you who are saying, why did she go there? You know, she was there to evangelize. It's evangelism. What you see, <laughs> but was she paid? <laughs> Is it evangelism and business or just evangelism? Oh, collection can crab be money and you see, you have to pay your TNT tight the idea. You see that thing. So um Empress Gifty was there to perform and uh, with a response I, I saw from the audience, they loved her performance. You know, gospel music in that style, the praises and everything, you know, and trust Empress Gifted to give you a quality performance anytime she's on stage to perform. And so it was a good one there from Empress Gifty. Now let's talk about the voter regime boss. No, Chicho Vota, you know. Uh, Adam was there as well. Voter regime boss, Adam, the Toto hits maker. I mean, her Toto. When I say Toto, I mean her Toto. It's, it's ever. The Toto Hits Maker was also there to support Stoneboy. So it was a big party. It was a big concert. It wasn't all about Stoneboy, but all the other guys in the industry who were available also were there to support him. And then, found Sabo Wagenim. <laughs> Our damn, you know, Kwakese also wanted the state to perform. So I, I was like, yeah. So it, when you go for programs like this and it drags so much and you have quality acts on, on, on stage, you don't 
you don't worry so much you don't complain so much but when it drags and it is boring that is where you have a cause to complain you know these acts were on stage and they kept the show alive throughout so Kwakese was on stage, uh, Kwakese, who the CEO of Mad Time Entertainment was on stage to perform. And then Kwesi Arthur also came through. Yes, Kwesi Arthur is out with a new song called Celebrate featuring Tenny. He was on stage as well uh, at the Beam concert. Now let's talk about something that happened, you know. And I think this is very iconic. It is very significant, you know. Apart from, okay, Miss V also passed through at a point. But... Samini made a surprise appearance at the, at the program. Samini, for some time now, I think for the past year, has not been on good terms with Stoneboy. And he came out to say that Stoneboy agreed to do the Assassin's Sun Clash with um, Shatawale, who is Samini's rival from way, 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 way back, you know. And so Stoneboy, being Samini's small boy like his son, should have told him about it. He didn't do that. And so uh, Samini got angry. And even recently, he, he spoke about it on Joy FM, that he wasn't happy about the whole thing. Now, it appears that they have, um, they have ironed out their differences. They are back together, father and son. For, for us to see Samini on the stage, beam concert, to perform with Stoneboy and Beanie Man, you know. And also, Charlie, you, you could see Stoneboy, Beanie Man, and then Samini. And then, just as you're seeing on your screen, you know, this is beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's so beautiful seeing these three giants on one stage. And the fact that they were even doing the dance hall, they were even doing the, the battle sort of, you know, freestyle, dropping lines here and there. And if you see dance hall artists on stage doing great stuff like that, it's very, 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 very interesting. It's very, very encouraging. So we are happy that Stoneboy and Samini are back together as a mentor and his protege or father and son. They have done it before. They're going to do it again. And according to Stoneboy, it was some people who were trying to sow some seed of discord among them. But yeah, if that is true, then it's up to him. But I know that whatever differences they had in the past, have been resolved and now they're back together. It was a very nice sight to behold at the Beam concert. Yes, so it happened. And I, I, I think that we need to give Stoneboy some props for putting together Beam concert. So there, were, there were great personalities. People came to the show to party. And it wasn't just about the, perform the performance or the patrons, you know, people who bought tickets to come and with, but some iconic figures i'm talking about some celebrities or public figures were also there you know people who have made it to their to your homes to your social media platforms through maybe their controversial nature or something they've done in the creative arts industry they were there as well no so sam george was there yes sam george was at the program and he was he was chilling you know sometimes you just take some time off your busy schedules and then go hang out and have fun. So Sam George was there as well. And then Abina Koko, yeah, they're very popular. Abina Koko, you know, was also there. Um, I don't know if Lexis or Giovanni or those people were there, but <laughs> Abina Koko was there. And then Mufasa, you know that dancer, you know, that, that Ghanaian dancer, Abina Koko, Dini Dinsa. Yeah, that guy did there. He went in the same matter where he went to come. So he too was there. And then there was um, um, Michael Blacksing. Yes, he was there. You know, this is to tell you there are a lot of people in Ghana from the diaspora elsewhere who are just uh, in town to enjoy the program, the activities we have, and then be part of this celebration of, of this year's Christmas. Yes, so they were there at the program as well. A lot of them, people you know uh, in this public space, they were there to also support Stoneboy for this year's BIM concert. There are more events coming, and so if you missed the first video we did, top 15 events that you should look out for this festive season, there are more events that you can just go check out and then be part of. This is Ghana Weekend TV. We just came your way with a rundown of what's happened at the BIM concert 2021, Stoneboy's official event for this festive season. And make sure you subscribe to Ghana Weekend TV. We have a lot of great content for you from now till wherever, you know.
till the end of the year. Okay, so my name is Kwame Dazi. Also, read our stories from GhanaWeekend.com and then get to know what is happening in the world of entertainment. Bye-bye.